Hi guys, welcome back. Skellin here, and we are off for more of Pikmin on the Wii. And in the last video that we did, we went back to the Pikmin planet into the impact site. On odd numbered days, you bump into the Gulix, and in the even numbered days, after days 8 and 9 at least, you bump into a Mamuta, which slaps your Pikmin and they all become flowers. But it'll be a pain for you to harvest that garden because he's busy enjoying it. If you get smacked, however, as Oli Murs, you take damage. But the biggest thing that we covered, which was before day 15, there's an egg in the distant spring which hatches into the smoky prog, which is rumoured to be a malformed Mamuta, which is poison type. And there are no white Pikmin in this game. But we are back for the challenge mode of Pikmin. And as you can see, I have practiced a bit because I have a score for every stage. But those are my practice scores. How would I actually do on camera? You guys can challenge yourselves and try to fight me as well. Um, did this before on the GameCube, and now we're doing it again on the Wii. So let's go with new Pikmin AI from Pikmin 2. So starting off with the impact site, once again, not really many enemies. It's just get as much Pikmin as possible. That's the goal for the challenge mode. We have no ship parts. We have no ship. We can't regenerate our health. What we have is what we start with, and the goal is to go as quickly as possible and already there's a bread bug in the area and he is going for a pellet it's a red pellet so unfortunately i'm gonna have to use my blues to grab that i could probably change pikmin in a minute because obviously to maximize uh, growing efficiency you want to match the pellets um what i'm gonna do is call these guys and toss these over oh i actually smacked him uh not what i was expecting but that will actually kill him a lot quicker Again, I smacked him, I didn't mean to. There, it works. So there we are. That'll kill him. Nicely done. Whee! Right, so we'll deal with that in just a moment. Right now, I need to delegate my Pikmin as much as possible. In fact, uh, everybody on that. Well, hopefully it'll go to the blues. Yes, it will. Okay, that actually worked out really well. So... Really, we want to be prioritising the bigger pellets more than the smaller pellets, but obviously we only have three Pikmin of each starting off, and we have no ship, so therefore we have no radar. What you have is what you get, so just grow as much Pikmin as you possibly can. That's your goal. Right, so that over there, switch to a blue, toss you on that one. Uh, yellow pellet. Uh, I don't have another blue pellet, so I'm just going to toss you into that. Uh, I don't have a yellow, another yellow pellet, so that's a bit of a problem here. I'm going to toss you over there, because we can just grab a few more here. I heard a Pikmin smacking another Posey. I don't see what Posey he was whacking, though. No, that is not what I meant to do, but it works out, I guess, everybody on that one. We've got a couple more blue, uh, yellows, excuse me, here. Although they're not exactly going to be useful to us at the present point in time. Uh, in fact, everyone just pick up this blue pellet and it should go to the blues. That should go to the blues now. Unless one of them just decides to go for the other pellet. Thank you. It's not like I tossed you at that one. There we go. Yeah, what was annoying in the original Pikmin one is that uh, Pikmin would um, pick things up, but you wouldn't know which onion it's actually going to because the top half of the number would be in blue and, and that, well top part of it would be in blue and top part of it would be in red. The other part of it would be in red. So you wouldn't exactly know where it's actually going, which is a little bit dumb. No, I don't want to do that. I'm trying to be a little bit faster here by trying to, like, delegate my Pikmin. Have some other kinds of Pikmin helping out other Pikmin to get it off. Why is that going to the reds? Oh no, that's... I, I'm an idiot. I want it to go to the reds. Oh. No. For some reason, I thought I wanted that to go to the blues. But that will go to the reds, so... The only problem is, we've also got to waste time plucking our Pikmin, so... Right, so, yellow pellet on that. There we go. Red. Red. Instant knockdown. Hopefully they'll pick up their individual pellets. Yeah, they did. Awesome. Another red pellet here. And I think I'm going to ignore the rest of the small pellets now and just go for the big stuff. 
Right, so there's a red over there, so what I want to do is dismiss quick just to grab my reds. But yeah, that'll do. Hopefully, no other Pikmin will join. Let's not get burned. One, one, two, three, four, five. And there's a red one up here. Just going to get that for the sake of it. There we go. And I'm going to just dismiss you on there. Hopefully, that'll do. Um, guys, I'm whistling. <laughs> just completely ignored me, rude. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Get another yellow on top of there, and dismiss the rest of these guys to push that. That'll do. And then we're just going to waste a bit of time on plucking Pikmin. Don't have too many reds to get on that, because we wanted to go to the yellows. There we are. I don't know why they had to go underneath the red onion in order to get that back, but... Yeah. Dif uh, but different Pikmin games have obviously different scoring systems for their challenge mode. This game is just... Grow as much as you can, which is kind of a nice feedback loop, because... As you're growing your Pikmin... You'll be able to get more done. Um, I'm holding A and I'm not holding a Pikmin. That happens a lot in challenge mode. I don't know why. I, it's just, I tend to hold the button to chuck Pikmin and I, well, don't <laughs> chuck Pikmin. It's a bit weird. Uh, this is all, there's a yellow up there. It's a big yellow, so I do want it. And I'm chucking them behind. That's just great. Uh, I was having my yellows. It'd be nice if, you know, my pigment actually did what they were told. I'm spending too much time getting the small pellets. I want to get to the other side of the level. Oh, that'll do. That'll be blues. Yeah, that'll be blues. Okay, cool. Right, so let me pluck the rest of my Pikmin here. And this is when we're going to start uh, really moving. In fact, uh, call those guys back, at least. As I continue to plug. Because we're almost at 100 now. Which means we won't have to really worry about grinding up a Pikmin anymore. Because we actually have all the Pikmin that we need. Well, all the Pikmin that we can use on the field. So this is the troubling part. Like, you spend so much time actually trying to get Pikmin so you can do things, and then you got to pl uh, pluck them all. Like, we're already past half a day. And we're really trying to go. I'm going to cancel and toss one Pikmin, <laughs> just so you can pick up that pellet. It's just sitting there, so might as well have him do that while I'm doing this. Now, ironically enough, that'll be our last two sprouts, because we'll be maxed out then. Although, there may be some other strategies that you can employ while you're um, doing this sort of thing, because you could, like, have... As I'm just trying to calculate my Pikmin here. Um, you could have it so um, you would only have... I'm holding A again, and I'm not holding a Pikmin. What's going on? Only focus on growing certain Pikmin. Sorry, I, I was trying to focus. I couldn't speak. Kind of a failing with me. Right, let's get these big pellets down at least. This won't take too long. I didn't actually realise I chucked that many yellows. Also, I don't know why a yellow went to the blue pellet there. That was a bit weird. Right. Right, this is when we make massive bank. Swarm that completely. Where's that other lot of nectar? Yeah, as you can also see with the uh, layout of these levels in challenge mode, completely different. Alright, it's time to move on. We haven't got time. Also, you can't leave your Pikmin uh, overnight. It's just not a thing you can do. Uh, I believe another... Um, That should be enough. It's not enough. Why? Okay, I'm not entirely too sure why all my Pikmin decided to fall down when I was trying to get them up, but... 
that's a thing that just happened. Yep, we do need bomb rocks, so we do need yellows. Um, these yellows can come along here. Call everybody, because I don't actually like them being over there. Right, let's get my yellows. Right, is that game picked up? Is that game picked up? How many more Pikmin do I need to toss on that? Oh, of course, I'll toss one more and that's when it decides to move, of course. You know what, it's not worth picking up these small little bits. Uh, I just need a bit of yellows here. Yep, four, that'll do. Down here, guys. I need you guys to go underneath here. I'm calling a couple more back, just in case. Right, we've got bomb rocks. Because we're going to be making a lot of bank on one more Pikmin. In fact, I'm doing pretty good on my score, I believe. Alright, I lost a couple. That's fine. Not a big problem. Where is it? Swarm this. Pick up that big pellet. And that's all the big pellets at the level. And it's just the small fry. Whatever we can grab, we will just grab. Alright, we're well in the last 10 seconds, but this is the best we can do. There is a yellow pellet over there, but we wouldn't get a lot from that, and I'm not going to mess with my blues to grab that for now. So, we'll just try what we can. All the food is coming back. I don't think the blue one, unfortunately, is going to make it, because it got bumped multiple times. And that's time. So you can see, like, I, I, my commentary was all over the place at the very end there, but I wasn't too sure what to say because I was just trying to focus. Um, doesn't matter if we leave Pikmin behind or if they're still planted in the ground. They It just matters on literal total population. Obviously, if Pikmin die, that is negative numbers to your population. So if you're going to be swarming Pikmin in the Wii version, you bet might not want to do that too often. But there, oh my god, I was one below. If I didn't take those deaths, I would have actually beaten my score. And if I got that blue pellet back, I would have definitely beaten my score. So, you know what? I can't be too mad about that. Pretty much broke even. Literally one Pikmin lost because I tossed all my bomb rocks in a slight little bit of panic to try and speed up a little bit. But I was also a little bit more uh, pernickety with matching the colours than I was in practice. But yeah, the impact site's just a taster, because you're basically focused on the main part of the area until you try to make your way to the back, but at that point, um, all the mostly all the food is at start, so you'll be using a lot of your time there, and again, you only have three of each Pikmin to work with, so yeah, <laughs> and ironically enough, that's the end of this video, so that was the impact site, next time, we try the Forest of Hopes challenge mode, see you guys then.